welcome to our video on optical properties of minerals. Optical properties are the first things we see when we look at a mineral sample, so it's our first video in the mineral properties series. Optical properties describe the characteristics that make a mineral look a certain way to the human eye. Color describes the frequency of light that the human eye detects when it looks at a mineral. Color is also the most obvious characteristic of a mineral, but it's also the least useful if we're trying to figure out what kind of mineral we're looking at, and I'll tell you why. To tell you why, I will now answer that question that you asked in the first video. Why the heck are there so many colors of quartz? And if they're all quartz, why are they all different colors? The word quartz describes a certain mineral chemistry that forms a certain structure. Quartz has so many colors because it's easy for a stray element to get caught in that structure of a crystallized mineral of quartz. So what these impurities do is they mess with the electrons floating around in the molecules and that changes the color of light that is reflected back out to your eye. Now I've listed the, a few of the colors of quartz and impurities, just in case you're curious. Note that some of these colors are generated by the same impurity. That's because they can, there can be different amounts of the same impurity. Now quartz is not the only mineral that does this. Halite, fluorite, tourmaline, and others do this too. We call the different colors a different species of that mineral, and that's a very common thing. And because it's such a common thing, we don't use color very much as evidence to help us identify a mineral. Next, we need to talk about luster. This is the particular sparkle or sheen a mineral's appearance has. There are a bunch of different lusters, but in this class, we're gonna focus on just four. Vitreous, pearly, metallic, and earthy. This is characteristic, or this characteristic can be somewhat useful in identifying a mineral because every species of mineral will have the same luster. Well, almost. Metallic minerals can get rusty and change their luster, but for the most part, minerals don't change luster. A vitreous luster has the look of glass, but we do not call it glassy. Glassy is the texture of a rock, not the luster of a mineral. These are the sort of sparkly look that you think of when you think of gemstones. Then they're pearly lusters. This looks kind of silky or satiny or soft in some way. A metallic luster looks like a freshly polished shiny metal. The mineral being shown here is pyrite, my personal favorite. Native metals like copper, gold, silver, and platinum have this luster when they've just been weathered out of a rock. As they are exposed to air and water, the luster changes. And it changes into an earthy luster. Earthy means that it looks kind of rusty or dirty. It's not that pretty shiny metal anymore. All right, I've saved the best for last, streak. Streak is the color a mineral makes when it is powdered. Now, a mineral like quartz or fluorite or halite can look like many colors to our eye when the crystals are big, and that's because of those impurities, which have more of an effect on a larger structure. But if we grind the mineral into smaller, and I mean like way smaller pieces, then the impurities don't show up anymore and we can see the true colors of a mineral. And some minerals are tricky, like hematite. Hematite might look black or brown when it's metallic, but when it rusts or streaks, it's a dull red color. Every mineral has only one color that it will streak. So this is a really useful characteristic if we're trying to identify a mineral. To get the streak of a mineral, you use a piece of untreated porcelain called a streak plate and rub the mineral on it. And that's it. If any of this was confusing, please do check with our textbook reading. But you will need to be comfortable with these properties before you take the mineral lab.